Welcome to the Echo Driving School channel. The test that I'm going to talk over today is quite a new test route and it is the South Croydon route. Um, I have done a test before um, covering this route so this is a new addition to that route. Um, so as I talk through this, uh, unfortunately this, this student did not pass and I will be talking about uh, some of the reasons why they did not pass. Um, so sit back, relax, enjoy the commentary. So the examiner asked the student to follow the signs for Croydon. Uh, remember, as I've said before, Croydon is the third exit on the left hand side. So make sure you position your car on the left hand lane. There is no need to give a right signal because the exit is at 12 o'clock and therefore no signal is necessary. Now the time that the student was doing the exam was quite busy so naturally she's pausing here to look at the traffic on the right and looking for a gap in the traffic. Remember do not uh, you know rush yourself take your time and look for blockers on your right so any big vehicle uh, when they are going and if it's safe to do so then proceed uh, with caution. Um, as the student is waiting here, she's just gone. Um, so first exit is central London, second exit is the Fiat exit, just past here. Check your left mirror, give a left signal and progress towards the Croydon, uh, South Croydon roundabout. Now as you're going along here, uh, there are various uh, roads on the left and right. So make sure you are using your hazard perception techniques to look out for any potential cars that may be emerging out of the left or the right. Um, so the student is just slowing the car down. So remember any kind of slowing down or any kind of change of direction would require a mirror check. So general rule of thumb is start with your center mirror and follow it up with one of your left or right mirrors depending on what you see in your center mirror. So the road on the right is the road I was talking about. Cars usually emerge from here. So make sure you take a quick glance on your right. And obviously you have a pedestrian crossing here. So make sure you keep that clear uh, as you progress ahead. Um, there will be cars emerging from the left. Uh, the road is just approaching us and it is a tight road and quite blind for the approaching cars so they might not always see you so do make a point of uh, covering your brakes if you are not sure if anybody is coming out. So the route over here, uh, there's the car I was talking about. Uh, she's just covering her brakes so check your mirrors. Uh, there she's obviously decided to go past. You've got to evaluate the situation. Uh, every situation is different and obviously I wasn't in the car and she's decided uh, to proceed uh, with caution and the examiner hasn't um, you know, marked her down for going. So long as it's safe to do so, you're okay to go. So note here, on the, uh, if you want to rewind, you can see the floor marking that says the right hand lane is dedicated to go ahead. So it's perfectly okay to sit in the right lane uh, to go ahead here because the arrow is dictating <clears throat> excuse me, the arrow is dictating that you should be in this lane when you proceed ahead. You can, however, also use the left lane. Um, so as you go past here, do check your left mirror because sometimes cars are coming from the left like this van did. So, you know, make the most uh, safe option available to you. As you go along here, you're going to go past um, the car showroom and there are usually cars coming out from here, uh, maybe going on a test uh, run, uh, you know, to buy their car. So make sure you are approaching it with caution. There is a quick fit and there is a BP garage at the, on the right. So cars could be again emerging out of there. Now this road leads to a 40 miles an hour. This is the only 40 miles an hour due carriageway that I am aware of. Uh, you know, the examiners taking uh, students on. So as you emerge here, you will see a bus, uh, 
you see a bus lane, you go through the bus lane and position yourself on the left hand side. Note how she was on the right and then she checked her mirrors and eventually uh, made her way into the left hand lane. Make sure you check your left mirror and if there are cars coming on the left then by all means wait until they've gone and proceed there. Remember if you do end up sitting in the right hand lane and you don't change lanes at all you will fail there. Um, now as you go down this route uh, it's a downhill so remember your speed will increase so do cover your brakes as you're going down here and it is a traffic light which here uh, just another point to note uh, it is three lanes that will merge into two um, <clears throat> you've got to make sure you can see the arrow there so here always uh, anticipate that another car uh, cars are merging so it's just turned red light now one of the key things here is that the examiners over here at the moment they haven't told you where you will be going so the key here is to maintain your left hand lane and as you go past these traffic lights and a bit further ahead uh, the usual um, the usual uh, direction is follow the signs for Sutton uh, third exit on your right so which usually means that you need to try and get into the right hand lane when it's safe to do so now this is the tricky bit on this route you need to choose a moment where there isn't a car immediately to your right so usually you would have practiced this with your instructor uh, basically it's changing lanes you know generally and on due carriageways uh, now here if you do not approach it on the right hand lane you will struggle uh, not necessarily a fail but you will struggle uh, to make sure where your direction is so here the best thing to do is check your mirror move over to the right uh, when it's safe to do so and approach it now unfortunately she didn't and this roundabout was one of the reasons why she did fail she had a right signal on and you know she struggled to then go back into the other side um, as you can see she's in the middle here which is the wrong thing to do you want to be on the right hand side um, all the way maintaining a right signal the second exit we've just passed so here you want to check your left mirror give a left signal make sure no one's there and then you want to move across to the left hand side just like the Lombard roundabout and then you turn into here this is the third exit now usually they will say follow the sign for local traffic on the floor is written to go through local traffic and then you make progress now as you go along here uh, the road bends quite sharply towards the left hand side so remember to cover your brakes and if you're doing a manual car then you want to take this as in second gear um, or what's appropriate for that moment as you come across here it's a giveaway on the left hand side is usually quite clear and the examiner said follow the road ahead so it's not necessary for you to stop there you can make progress without any reason to stop there now this is like with any other route uh, obviously in the back route so back streets just you know off roads uh, you're just going along here there is going to be a small roundabout ahead um, where again you're expected to follow the road ahead so just make progress uh, and just go through the roundabout it's just a mini roundabout so you don't necessarily need to stop and I've done this route many times myself and uh, I haven't really uh, found a reason where I have to physically stop it's very open on the right hand side so you can proceed with caution um, as you go past here um, usually this is a very quiet road so there's not many um, many uh, cars or pedestrians but again like with anything be cautious there is a playground uh, on the right where we went past the um, the roundabout so they you know be, be careful of what could possibly come out from there now as you come uh, to the end of this road uh, you will be approaching a traffic light again this is one of those traffic lights where uh, the car actually uh, 
the students side so our car has priority when it goes green you don't actually have to wait for any um, cars to come on the opposite side so just waiting for uh, the car to get there now as she comes here it's red light so the examiner has asked her to turn right so over here it's just turned green so the opposite side is red there and it will stay red so no pausing you just straight away turn now once you turn onto this road this is a 30 uh, zone 30 miles an hour zone and the examiner could ask you to pull up on the left note there is no yellow line that I have seen on this bit here so if they ask you to pull up on the left and it's safe to do so by all means do so and it is not in any way wrong to pull up uh, if there is no yellow yeah it might inconvenience the driver behind uh, they have to go around you but you know legally you're allowed to stop there so that's not a problem um, so as you go down this road <clears throat> this is coming at the back of the five-way corner um, so just bear in mind that you're going past uh, the round uh, not roundabout the traffic where it's the five-way corner junction and the examiner asked her to continue to follow the sign for Wellington which is straight ahead so the sign you've just seen is obviously Wellington so what you want to do is you want to maintain the left hand lane going towards Wellington and all of this she has done correctly remember here you want to maintain the tires and tarmac uh, as you go down this uh, road now this is a three lane road layout uh, left lane goes ahead and left the middle lane goes ahead and right and the right furthest lane goes right only so the lights have just turned green so as you go through this gap it can be a little bit tight with big vehicles so you know make sure that you're checking your right mirror before you merge to the right uh, as you go along here it is a 30 miles an hour route so make sure you do increase your speed as it's safe to do so so from what i can see with the flow of traffic she is uh, doing 22 miles an hour and 23 so it's decent speed making sure she's obviously got speed now and she's getting to the limit which is all good now the examiner after this road there is a block of um, shops uh, the examiner asked her to turn right now the road markings here are very faint so you can just make it out make sure you maintain your position and then if no one's coming you take the turn the turn is fairly sharp um, and you've got you know um, your traffic calming measures on the right the pillars so be careful as you turn here so there is just a pedestrian in front uh, she's noted that and obviously slowed down um, and then the examiner uh, asked her to pull up on the left when it's safe to do so so she's just going to look for a safe gap before she obviously pulls in uh, now again this road is uh, the humps are quite high so you're not going to really get speeds up um, too much here it's generally as you can see uh, 9 10 miles and then you'll probably be getting it to 15 miles at most um, so you know continue along this road um, she's just been asked to pull up and you know she did choose the right place uh, it's not in front of a drive um, and well it is now and I think she did she did uh, get a fault here I mean this test uh, was probably done about four weeks ago so um, you know forgive me if I don't fully remember uh, what the examiner said uh, but yeah choose a choose a gap where it's not front of any driveways or anything like that um, because you will uh, encounter a driving fault if you do decide to park in front of a drive um, so she's going along here uh, again just side roads like with any and it's just continuing from there this is the back of Wadden back of Wellington uh, and it's going to come up towards the Pearly Way um, so it is definitely recommended that you practice this route um, like with all the routes this is you know it's got his uh, hard it's got his difficult moments um, specifically the South Croydon roundabout but on the whole 
you know, it's just like any other road that uh, one would practice with their instructor. So, you know, it's nothing to fear, um, but it's good to obviously practice in various different road conditions so that uh, you're not just practicing the routes. And just remember, with all of these videos, it is not just to give you uh, a helping hand on the routes, but also, you know, it's to get an idea of driving in various road conditions. Uh, so whoever you're learning with, remember, make sure that you practice due carriageways, how to change lanes at due carriageways safely, uh, not only for your exam, but when you pass, you know, you want to have the skills necessary to actually uh, drive by yourself fully confident. You don't want to just fluke the exam. You want to pass, uh, with, you know, obviously with as men, as, you know, a few minor driving faults as possible uh, so that your confidence is there and, you know, you are uh, trying to get yourself a license um, and it is a big responsibility. So here, uh, the examiner asked her to turn right. Um, again, uh, it's not fully visible, but as you turn, you'll see it is a fairly busy road where cars are coming, uh, you know, on the hill and they, they will gain speeds. So make sure you're looking on both sides as usual uh, to maintain the safety gap. When you do see a gap on your right, make sure you look at your left side and you know, there must be a big enough gap for you to emerge without causing any vehicle to slow down, stop or swerve for you. Uh, the general rule of thumb that I teach my students is, uh, you know, when you're not sure, ask yourself the question, if you can walk across as a pedestrian, then surely you can drive across. Uh, must emphasize the word walk across and not run across. Because sometimes when we as pedestrian we think that, yeah, I'll just take this moment, but you're actually running across. So she's just taking a turn. And as you can see uh, on the right, there was a car, but it was far enough for her and it was the right thing to do. So it was actually a good drive, but just that one moment uh, of um, lack of judgment when it came to the roundabout that in the end did cost her not gaining her license. Uh, so, you know, remember, you do only get one chance to, you know, demonstrate your skills. And if one makes, you know, one error that is obviously the deemed as a serious, then unfortunately, you know, you will fail. So the examiner here uh, said, take the next road on the right. And the general landmark here is you've got a chicken shop, uh, chicken and chip shops on the left hand side of the red writing and she was asked to turn right here. So again, obviously you do your usual checks, your MSPSL routine, and wait until it's safe to take the turn. And when it's safe to do so, um, you turn right. Uh, there was a gap there, and I think she could have taken that, but again, you know, on the day, it is entirely up to you when you go. Um, so don't risk it, take it when it's safe, and I think she's gonna take it now. And yes, she's taking the turn. When you turn into this road, again, you've got your standard meeting situation. So there are parked cars on both sides. Um, so look for places where you could pull in, as we call laybys, um, that won't affect anybody. Um, now, as she went along here, um, the examiner continued to get her to pull up. So do look at the route. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep a full commentary on all throughout uh, this video. It is quite long. It's about a 42 minute video. Um, it's just these bits that I've obviously mentioned um, and make sure that you know, you're practicing. Um, so yeah, sit back, enjoy the video as usual and uh, any comments, uh, do leave a comment and um, keep, uh, keep your support up. Uh, thanks again.